Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video I was supposed to do to show for you guys for Monday. I was a slacker. I didn't do it. I went diving instead. There's that. Um, so I am running behind, but I wanted to go ahead and get this little video out for you guys. Um, this is just a very simple, um, cute little... Um, I don't know, it could be an ephemera holder, it could be a little journal. It's flat enough, you could actually send it in the mail. You could use it for like a Mother's Day gift and stick like gift cards and stuff in it. Um, so it has like the hard um, cover, that's a chipboard cover. And then you open it and I've got like a little pocket here with like a little journal card. On this page in here, I've got um, a couple of journal cards. Um, this is like a little card type thing. And then in between this page and this page, I've got a pocket and I just put a tag in there. And then it opens up here. And so you've got a pocket here and I've just got like a little card and a tag stuck in there. I've got like a little couple pieces of like tickets. And then it opens like this. And in this pocket here, I've just got another little tag stuck down in there. All right, here I have a little belly band. And then in between here, there's a pocket and I've got a journal card stuck in it. And this is the back page and I've got a couple of little tags. And then here I've got like a little envelope and I've got a little journal card. And I need to put my little closure on here. I have not done that yet but that is what so i mean it's just really simple and you can you know you can decorate it up a lot more you can you know however you want to do it um so this is something i have done maybe a year and a half or so ago and so i was in panama city on saturday and sunday for my dives and saturday night it was storming and so there was nothing to do so i there was a hobby lobby imagine that like a block away from my hotel so i run to hobby lobby and I picked up um, this pack of paper and it wasn't even on sale, guys. So, you know, I was desperate. Um, I paid $13.99 for it, but it's beautiful paper. I've not seen it before. It says Ephemera is what the name of the paper collection is by Paper Studio. And so it's very beautiful. And as you see, there's no back cover on it because that's what I had to use for my chipboard. Because, like I said, I was over in Panama City. I didn't have anything. And so I didn't want to go just buy a bunch of stuff. So I got the pack of paper and I just, I used that to do what I needed to do. And so here is more of that paper. This is the back pad off of, or the back thing off of that pad of paper. So you can use a cereal box. You can use, you know, your, um, back of your paper project, you know, your, your paper pads. If you have chipboard, use chipboard, whatever you have, use that. So what you're going to need um, is two pieces cut at five by five. And cause this will be our front and our back cover. And then you want to get um, two pieces of card stock, card stock cut at six inches by six inches. And that's what's going to cover um, our covers there so let's go ahead and let's see what we can do um it has been crazy for me guys um i am officially scuba certified um i don't know how many of you guys seen the videos um from and i'm just covering this with score tape right now i will use score tape and um fabri -Tac. but i don't know how many of y'all seen my videos um saturday in the spring was truly the most horrific experience of my entire life. I, I thought I was dying. I thought that was the end of the line for me. Um, 
I was not comfortable with the um, regular mask and um, regulator. And um, we had to go down about 20 or 25 foot below the surface and we had to do our skills. Well, my problem is that the regular mask does not fit my face properly. My face is too small. Um, so I was down there to do my skills and I had to remove the regulator from my mouth and you have to drop it to your side and then you have to locate it and get it back in and clear everything. That wasn't a problem. But when you're down there like that, you have to continue to breathe. So you have to blow tiny bubbles um, out. And I was, as soon as I went to blow the tiny bubbles, the bubbles made my mask um, start flooding. And that was it. I panicked and I just started like inhaling water. And I got my regulator, but I just couldn't, at that point in time, I was too panicked. I couldn't process things. I couldn't get the regulator cleared and in my mouth. And I was just steady inhaling water. And I'm 25 feet below. And so I just started um, adding air to my BC. And I just went flying to the surface, which is very dangerous. Um, but I... I I was in panic mode and I got to the surface and I'm like, that's it. I am never doing this again. I'm done. I don't want to scuba dive. You know, I'm over it. And um, the instructor come up and he was like, what's going on? You know, what's what's happening? And I, thought, I said, I panicked. I said, it's me. It's mine. Never matter. And he said, what can we do? I said, I just need to get alone for right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I said, I need to, number one. Okay, so I'm just going to center this up on the six by six paper here. I said, I need to go to my car and I need to sit down. I said, and I need to have a chat with myself. And more importantly, I need to just, I need to pray. I really need to pray and talk to the Lord. And he said, you know, do what you've got to do. And I did. I went to my car and I had a little talk with myself. And then I was like, Lord, I said, you know, and my son was, and if it hadn't have been for my son doing it, I would have quit, period. And I was like, Lord, you've got to help me. I said, you have got to help me. I said, I see that I cannot do this on my own. And I'm not afraid of water. I've always been a water baby. I said, but Lord, you've got to help me. And um, I remember the scripture, Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. And so we had to swim 475 yards in 62 degree weather and 62 temperature weather. I mean, water. And I was like, I've got this. And so I got back in and I had to do my 475 meters. I'm sorry, meters. And like with every stroke, I was just quoting Philippians 413. I can do all things through Christ with strengtheneth me. And I done it. I got it done. And so my instructor come, he said, you know what? He said, we're going to go ahead and try you in that full face mask and let's just see how you like it. And guys, it was game changer. I have never, and I went from having the most horrific experience in my entire life Saturday morning to having the most amazing experience in my entire life Saturday afternoon. It was crazy. Okay, so now what I want to do, I've got it dot like that. So I just want to kind of corner, do these corners like this a little bit so that I don't have as much bulk when I fold this down. And I'm going to do this to both um, covers here. And so, yeah, um, in the full face mask, I... I emptied every single one. If y'all follow me for my budgeting stuff, y'all know I had a bunch of money saved. And I will say this, I, I have not put a single thing on a credit card. Not a single thing. Um, I did empty pretty much all of my envelopes, all of my savings challenges. I've emptied it all, um, with the exception of the Corvette. Um, but I bought that full face mask. And it was $1,772. But let me tell you, it's so worth it. I mean to tell you. When I went um, for our dive in the Gulf off of the wrecks on um, Saturday. Oh my God, it was so much fun. Okay, so I'm just going to take right here. 
and I'm going to put some score tape right along these edges here. Yes, yeah, so we went, um, we were about 65 feet deep on both dives on Sunday. And y'all, that mask was just so, it, it was amazing. I cannot even, you know, and you see the videos of people diving and you see all of the stuff underwater. It is nothing like actually experiencing it. It was so, I don't know. I just loved seeing the, all of it. And um, it's crazy because when you dive off the boat, you follow the uh, guideline because it's the guideline is tied into the wreck. Um, the dive master goes down and ties off onto the wreck. And so when you dive off the boat, you follow that guideline down and you just pull yourself down. And so for about the first 30 feet, it's very cloudy. Like you can't really see anything. And then all of a sudden you get to a point and it just opens up. So amazing. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to pull off the, um, whatever that is, score tape. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. And I'm just going to glue this side down. Actually, let me go ahead and pull these up because I realize it's going to go over it. So I'm just trying to pull this up without making a big mess since somebody's already put the glue down. Like, you know, I wasn't even thinking. Y'all know how I am, guys. Don't act surprised. Do not act surprised. <laughs> so there's that. So yeah, it um, I mean I'm I'm glad. I'm very happy. I, I did not I was not happy spending that seventeen hundred dollars on that mask. I can tell you that. But I can promise you this, I would have never, I would never ever dive again if I didn't have that. Um, period. It mm -mm, nope not happening so it was a very good experience it um it ended up being extremely fun um and i was also very thankful i was so afraid of getting seasick on the boat because the seas were very choppy sunday because we had had the storm saturday night and i, I was so worried because i get motion sick so easy so i took dramamine saturday night and then i had my motion sickness patch on and then I took Dramamine again Sunday morning, and I was perfectly fine. And I mean, there were some sick people on the boat. Even the dive master that's got over 7, 4,000 dives under his belt, he was sick. He was like laid out in the hull of the boat. And I was just like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> because I was not sick. I was very blessed. So we done the two dives on um, Sunday and those were, um, so the first one that we done on Sunday, we had to go down with the instructor. And um, so we done that. And then you have to have what's called a sit time, which is a surface interval time. And we had to have a sit time of one hour and we had that. So when it come time for the second dive, he was like, hmm. Y'all are on your own. Take your buddy with you. He said, but we're not going down. He said, y'all are all certified scuba divers now. And so that was a little bit nerve wracking. And um, when he first said that, I'm like, uh, wait a minute. Um, you're, you're not going down with us, but it was fine. You know, it was perfectly fine. Um, so it was, it was so much fun. And then, um, after those kind of, you know, those dives, you have to decompress for 24 hours. Um, we can't have physical activity. I could not get a hot bath or shower, guys. It had to be lukewarm um, because we had the air, you know, we had the air bubbles in our body and they have to equalize. So for 24 hours, you can't do anything. So I had taken Monday off so that I could decompress. But then my son, he's like, hey, Ma, you want to go back to the spring? <laughs> So I'm like, uh, yeah, let's go. So I drove two hours back to the spring and we went diving again. So I had to decompress again, but it was so much fun, guys. So much fun. And I don't know if y'all have seen any of the videos of me playing basketball underwater. That's the only time that I will ever be able to slam dunk a basketball. <laughs> All right. 
So enough of my babbling. You know, I'm just babbling away here. So that's the chipboard. Sorry, I had to get a, a sip of my frappuccino. Okay, so for the inside pages, you want three pieces that are cut at four and a half inches by 12 inches. Okay, and so on those, where's my scoreboard? So when you get those, you're going to put them on the 12 inch side and you want to score them at four and a half and at nine. So go ahead and score all three of those at four and a half and at nine. And one more. And nine. Okay. So now that we've got those scored, you're just going to kind of accordion fold them. And it'll all make sense in a minute. I promise. Maybe. And this is just a really... Um, quick and easy project and you can probably use a lot of scraps with it so I am just look trying to figure out on this real quick what I want to be my front cover and what I want to be my back cover because that's gonna so I think I'm gonna do it like that so how this is gonna work this is going to go here like this and then we just take this one and it will go like this right here and so see, it's kind of coming together and you can actually do more than three pages like this if you want to. Um, you could do less, but it'll, that's how it'll come together. And so our back page, we want this one here is going to be cut at four and a half inches by nine inches. So we just don't have that little strip over here. Now you can score this at four and a half inches or you can just simply fold it in half. And since I don't feel like getting the... Um, scoreboard out again I'm just folding it because this one here is going to go just like this okay so let's go ahead and start putting this together so this is going to be a pocket and so I'm just going to put a little thumb pull there now you can ink these pages up if you want to um, but for the sake of the video I'm not even going to stress over inking them so it'll go like that and so i want you to just glue the three sides here and you really don't have to glue the bottom i just always do um just because i just feel a little more secure when i've got the bottom glued don't ask me why okay so there's that and then what i do is i just line it up i'll just line it up just like this and then I'll just kind of fold it over and then I just make sure that it's, you know, as even as I can get it and I just tuck it in there. You know, it may not look pretty how I'm doing it, but in, I get the, a better result when I do it like that. So the same thing for here and I'm just going to cut me a little thumb pull right there. And then I'm just going to take this. And then I'm gonna, going to do exactly the same thing. And just put my glue just like this. And then I'm going to line this up again. I'm just gonna line it up as best as I can, get it nice and even, and then just lay that down. And then there we have that. I think I can push it in a little bit further. <clears throat> and that's one thing about using the Fabri-Tac is um, you do have just a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, and so the last one here, we will do the same thing. It's going to cut us a little thumb pull. And this is the one that's four and a half by nine because we don't need the other thing you know if we were adding another page then we would do it the four and a half by 12 and then we would have that other little piece hanging out there but we don't 
we don't really want to do that not on this one so i'm just lining everything up pushing it down and there we go all right so now i just need to put my cover on and so i want to make sure i've got this going the right direction and i'm just going to use some of this and i'm going to use my fiber tack but Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got some of that, you know, my little tape runner down. And I'm putting some glue. And I just want to make sure that I've got it going the correct direction again. And then I'm simply going to take, and I am just going to line this up center of that front cover. Just like that. So there's our front cover. Now for the back, we're going to do the same basic thing. We're going to put some tape down. And then I'm going to put some glue. And then I want to make sure that I've got it going the right direction as well. And what I do for the back cover is I just simply stand it up and do it just like that. Okay, and so there is the back cover. And it's not exactly straight, but that's the way that it would need to be because apparently I done something crooked. Okay, so now you have basically this accordion book. You can leave it like this, but what I like to do, and you have to leave one open. You have to leave one open. So I normally leave the middle one open. And so what I'm going to do is actually this one here. I am going to glue on the three sides here and make this into a pocket. Just like that. Okay. And we can punch up you know a punch in there in a minute we can do all of that stuff but right now i just want to make sure that i've got it glued all right and so we're leaving this one open then i'm going to go back here and i'm going to do the exact same thing ah oh, did y'all see that i'm tearing it i'm going to do the exact thing, same thing here i'm just going to glue on these three sides just like that and close that down So now we have our little book. So we've got that page that has a pocket. This page opens up. And then you have this page and it has a pocket. So let's go ahead and cut a little thumb pull right here so that we will know that this is a pocket. Maybe. Great goodness. And then I think want to cut a thumb pull let's just cut it in the front of this one because I think my issue was I was going through the other little envelope too okay so now what we need to do is just basically start kind of putting some stuff on the um, pages or in the pockets um so let's see we could do we could do a little um, pocket here. I think that's the right size too. That's up four, this is four and a half. I'm gonna cut just a sliver of this all just to make sure that um, it doesn't interfere with the folding. And so when I say a sliver, I mean like literally just a sliver. Probably an eighth of an inch, maybe if maybe a sixteenth of an inch. All right, and then I am going to put a little thumb pull right here. And I think I'm going to round my corners on the top part of it. I think that's what I want to do. Yep. And then I'm just going to glue right around the three sides here. 
And like I said, you can ink this um, if you ink it. You know, if you're not, like all of these pages here, they're really close to the same color. So they're kind of all blending in together. And I probably should have inked them, but for the purpose of trying to save time on this video, I did not. Okay, so there's that. And then we have that there. We have a pocket there. Um, let's work on this. So this is our front cover here. And do we want to put something like that? Or we could make a like a little tuck. Let's do that. Let's make this into a tuck. And I know that this looks, it's the exact same thing, so it'll be fine. I'm just going to round this one corner on it. And then I'm just going to put glue on these two sides right here. So that it can be a tuck. And then I'm just going to line it up just like that. And so this is now a tuck. And the way that it is, it blends in actually. That's fine with me. And so I've got this. And I think I might want to do... Let's do a belly band, and again, I'm just going to take just a sliver off, and I think I'm going to round the corners of my belly band. Let's see how that's going to look. That'll look good. So I'm just going to put it right here and right here. And I'm just going to put it right there in the center. So now we have a belly band. We have a pocket. Come over here. You have a pocket. This is what I was saying. That's why it was going crazy because I was trying to, I was cutting through um, this too. And I should not have done that. But that's okay because what I've done is I just went ahead and put the glue there so that it'll keep that pocket closed. And then now we have a pocket here. And now we need to do, let's see, we got something there. So now we need something here. And let's see, what do I have over here? I've got some stuff already cut. Just trying to use some of my scraps. Mm, what do we want to do right here? What about another pocket? Let's just do another pocket. Let's cut a little tiny sliver of this all so that we can make sure that we've you know can close it good and again i'm going to just round the corners of the top of it and cut a little punch in and then let's glue the three sides like that and just gonna get it about center there and put that down so we've got that now and then we go back here and so for here um let's see what I want to do okay so if I take and I fold this down like this we can make like a little closure, you know, like a little envelope flap. And I'm not even measuring, I'm just folding it over. It's probably about an inch or an inch and a half, something like that. Um, I will round the corners there. So let me make sure. Okay, I think this is probably about four inches. So what I need is I need another piece about four inches. Um, let me grab. I was trying to use up all my scraps, but I need to. Let's see. Let's cut a piece of this at four inches. And. Let's do it at like maybe two, let's do it at, let's do it at three inches. 
And I think I may actually use this for the fold over part too instead of that one, but we'll see. Okay, so this would go here. And then this, I want to go like this. I think it's how I'm wanting it. Who knows, guys? Y'all know how I am. All right, so let's round the corners of that. And so this is what I'm thinking is like this. Yes, yeah, that's going to work. All right, so let's round the corners of the top of this. And let's cut a little thumb pull in. All right, so I want to glue this down. But you know what? I'm going to glue this down on three sides because this will also make a pocket behind it. So there we go. All right, so let's glue this down. And I'm just trying to center it up as best as I can which is not very great, but it's still, it's okay. And then this, I am going to come right here and I am going to put it like that. And so it will be a pocket as well. I'm just going to do just like this. Okay. And I am just going to Put it about right there and that still comes down and covers that and so I'll put it like a little closure there and so I mean honestly it's done but we want to add like some different little things to it um, so we need something let's go back here to the front all right so we've got this here we can just add this little journal card type thing we will just round the corners and make it into a journal card just for the sake of it. Because, you know, why not? We've got this piece of scrap, so let's use it. So now we have a journal card right there. All right, and then we've got um, this belly band here. And let's see, what do we have that we can use? Again, I'm just trying to use up some of the scraps that I've already got kind of cut. So let's cut, let's cut this at four inches. And let's see what we can do. If I do, let's see, that may be too wide. I might need to cut it a little more narrow, but we can. If I do, yeah, let's cut it at maybe three and a half. So I just folded it and I'm just going to cut it um, at three and a half. And I'm going to cut it at like this so that I can make sure that I've got both sides kind of even. And I am going to round the bottom corners. Make it like a little note card or something. And that can just slip right down in there. So now we have a little note card there. And now I want to put a tag back there. Um, and I think I want to do one of the folded tags. And so I am actually going to get this piece here and I am going to cut it at three inches by 12 inches. And then I'm just going to fold this in half, I think. I may have to cut some off because it may. No, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and just leave it at the six because it's fine if it sticks out. That's perfectly fine. And so I'm just going to fold this just like that. And I want this to be like a tag. So I am going to take the tag corner punch and I'm just going to angle the corners there and so this is now a tag but um, you can write something in it and then fold it over and it does stick out a little far maybe that's a little too far let's cut some off the bottom because I think that's just a little too far sticking out let's see if this looks a little better 
I mean, and if you like it that sticking out that far, it's fine. You know, it's just whatever your preference is. So now we've got that. Now we have this little pocket here. Um, again, I'm just trying to use up some of my scraps. Let's cut this in half. And let's make this into like two little bitty tiny tags. So I'm just trying to find out where the halfway point is, guys. That's all I was doing. All right, so I'm going to use my little tag thing here. And I think I need to be the little bit bigger one. So there's a little tag right there. And I think that would be too big of a punch. I have a little hole punch somewhere that I could do. Um, and then I'm going to do angle these corners. So there's a tag there. Now we have a pocket here. And what do we want to put in here? Let's see. We could make an envelope. So let's make an envelope to stick down in that pocket. You know, we've got all this, we've got the scraps, so why not use them? So I'm just making a very simple envelope. Not much to it, but it will, it's using my scraps and it'll look cute in the pocket. And I'm just going to put a little like that and then just glue the two sides here. like that all right so now we have a pocket and I can put a closure on it if I want to or just leave it like it is and so for this we're just going to leave it just like it is just making sure that it's good and closed and it is and then we can just stick that right down in there then we don't have anything back there and nor nothing back there. So now we have this pocket and we can put, let's put maybe a journal card in there. So I'm going to cut this at three inches. And I'm actually going to fold it over in half and then I'm going to round all four corners because I want it to be like looking like a journal card but I want it to be um, where it's folded over. So see there's the journal card you can open it up and you have plenty of writing space inside of it. And so that goes right there. Then we have this pocket and let's see, let's just do a simple journal card on that one. And so let's try three and three quarters by, well, let's see what three and three quarters gets us. It's a square card, but that's okay because I'm thinking that'll be cute. Yep. All right. And let's just round the corners. And that can go right in there. And then we have another pocket right here. So let's do another one of the tags like we've done. And let's do it at three inches wide and let's cut off some of it before we fold it because it was a little too long and I'm not even measuring guys I'm just cutting it off and so now I'm just going to fold it in half just like this and then I'm going to put my tag corners so I have my tag and I'm just going to slide that right in there. 
And then we get back here and I have this pocket. And what do I want to put in here? Let's see what well, we can make. We can fold this little piece over and make this like a little booklet. You know, may as well use this, these pieces of scraps up. No sense in throwing them away. So we've got a little booklet right there. What else do we have? Um, let's see. Let's just do another little envelope here. May as well, since we've got it. So I'm just doing another little simple envelope. Just like that. And I'm going to round this. Round this. So yeah, this is just, you know, one of those projects that you can do. Um, it doesn't take a lot to do it. And then you can just kind of use your scraps to fill the thing up. Um, it would be great to put like little gift cards in or little notes or something. It's this is a great Mother's Day gift. Um, Mother's Day is coming up next month. And so this would be a really good idea for a Mother's Day gift. Um, but it's just a really quick and easy little project to do. Okay, so now we have, we have a... Um, a spot back here that remember we left this open as a tag or as a, um, a pocket and then we have this pocket here so what I'm going to do um, because this is not a very deep pocket I'm just going to cut a little piece like this and I think let's see how that will fit back there okay so that'll fit good so I'm just going to do my tag punch and just make it a little tag now these um i would probably cover these um i would back these tags if i were to leave them like this because um this paper it's not very um sturdy but for the sake of the video it's fine because you kind of get the idea so that's a little too long to do it that way so we're just going to cut just a little sliver off and see how that works Okay, and so it'll close, and I think I'm just going to corner around the bottom like that. And so now we have a little card thing there. We got that. We got our tag there. And you can put a closure on that if you want to. And then you can decorate the front. But, I mean, that's it, guys. Um, you've seen, you know, it took less than an hour to do it from start to finish. So it's not um, hard at all to do. It is a very fun project. Um, and you can add more pages to it. Um, you can add all sorts of stuff. You can do like flip ups and flip outs. Um, but great Mother's Day gift and it looks adorable. So let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you all later. Bye guys.